What's going on everybody? Colin the Great here. Super excited to be bringing you a new video. Have you ever thought to yourself, damn, I wish I could have my own platinum plaque or shoot, I wish I could have Mac Miller's plaques hanging up on my wall at home. Well, guess what? Now you can. Today we are gonna be talking about how to make your own platinum plaque, whether it be for you, a friend, a birthday present, a family member, all of the above, you are gonna be able to learn exactly how to make your own platinum plaque now. Boom! Uh, first you're gonna to wanna to get a 16 by 20 inch uh, shadow box. Standard size for platinum plaques is about 16 by 20. Next, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to get a record. Um, I suggest getting the cheapest record you can find from your local thrift shop, Goodwill. I suggest getting a box about this size or something that you can lay your record in and spray paint. That way you save the mess. Um, don't get spray paint anywhere. It's a little messy. You're gonna need a black poster board for the backing. Next, of course, you're gonna need some metallic spray paint. Oh yeah. Some adhesives right here. Some scissors. Chop, 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 chop. And last but not least, you're gonna need your artwork. Uh, for this one, I'm doing Mac Miller, uh, his most recent, uh, his posthumous album, Circles. And then you're also going to need to design the placard, uh, the middle pieces for the record. Um, I did this on canva.com. I got these printed off at Staples and then I got this big poster printed off at Walgreens. Um, really cheap. Booyah, let's get going. Hey. Yeah. All right, <laughs> next step we're going to Measure the back in. It's calling the great. You know who you are. Autumn blocks, numbers, let me down a path to you. Couple crazy bitches and a couple crazy dudes. People say they stay and start a stating that they true. Thought it never really happened, then I fell in love with you. Nah, I used to this, I was on my own. Ain't no other way, it was all I've known. Playing hard to get a man it got oh quick Cause now every moment with her is a time I won't forget Floating away like I'm high in a daze Drunk from a love watching time float away Spilling all the secrets just so we forget the pain It's a famous kind of love because it's us and a fame Floating away like I'm high Sweet, so Walgreens stay screwing me over Ordered a 16 by 20 poster Boom, you can see here 16 by 20 poster And guess what? This mother is not 16 by 20. It's like 16 by 21, 21 by 16 or whatever. The Anyways, we're making a call on the fly. I took the backing here and I am going to evenly make sure I get it lined up. So there's an even amount. And all I'm gonna do there we go do the same thing for this side boom there we go from there guess I'm gonna have to cut my poster now thanks Walgreens we got that poster cut out. You know, your boy already got a little bit of some of that skill and finesse. So we got it all cut out. Next, we are going to attach the poster to the backing of the frame. That is where you're gonna to wanna to grab these handy dandy little sticky dots. Boom. It's a famous kind of love because it's us and the fame. It's just a little crazy when you start to reminisce. Looking back in time at all the things that we had missed. Spock started flying when you mean it for a kiss And it's kind of funny now cause you're the one I can't resist Swear if looks could kill you a fully loaded clip Long lost love like it's written in a script Memorizing lines just so I can get a fix Cause I'm tired of chasing highs that don't never really stick Perfect's just a word until the day that I met you From your looks to your smile to your eyes and your mood Brighten up the palette when my only color's blue So now that we got our poster attached to the backing of the frame 
all those hoops I had to jump through. We'll go ahead and get the uh, plaque portion cut out as well as the uh, middle piece for the record. I had two different designs. Um, they're pretty similar. I just couldn't pick which one I liked more in the middle. Uh, it's for my girlfriend's birthday. She's literally like the biggest Mac Miller fan in the world. Not even kidding. Go look at her Spotify rap. But I wanted to include something that was uh, personal to us, which is to the mostest. Um, Mac Miller, her favorite artist, and I figured his, his last album, we listened to a lot of these songs together, so I thought it would be kind of cute to do uh, Circles. I just couldn't figure out which one I like more. Um, right now, I'm kind of leaning towards this because it has a lot more of the same color scheme, whereas this one's a little more random. Um, I was going to put one on each side of the record. However, I screwed up the spray painting on one side, so we're only using the one, and I think I'm going to go with this one here. <laughs> Sweet. So again, uh, with this, you just wanna be as, as, as close and concise and as careful as possible. Um, whatever you leave out uh, will show in this. So it's really important with the circles that you cut everything in the black and leave no white because it is going on a platinum plaque so it will stand out. Um, but you just wanna be very careful. Maybe sort of start with a, uh, a generic cut like this. That way you can go in and really um, fine tune those edges uh, without messing up any of the uh, the artwork. Even when it's raining, yet the sun is shining through. Here I go again, wishing moments never end. Cause the time we get in life is really not a lot to give. But as long as I'm with you, it's like the perfect moment span. Boom. See? Um, might look a lot better on camera than it does in person, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just looking for something to stick right on the middle of the record, uh, just to add a little bit of character to your own design, your own project. Uh, so once we got that cut out, we'll go ahead and cut out the placard portion of it. I am just gonna leave this one on here. Um, no sense in cutting it out if I'm only doing the one side. Again, you'll probably wanna just do a rough Cut out so that way you're working with a lot smaller piece of paper and it's easier for you to get close to those edges without affecting the artwork itself. So I'll go ahead and cut this off here. All right, boom. So like this. So if you wanted, you could leave it like this. You could get a nice black background to put over it. Um, you can get a holographic uh, poster board to throw over it. Um, any way you want to soup it up and really make it yours, you can. For this, I'm just going with the basics. We're just doing this placard. I designed it exactly how I wanted it on uh, canvas, so there's no no need to do any extra steps for me. Got them wise men scoffing like a fool yeah, sure. man. Floating away like I'm high in the days. Drunk from a love, watching time float away. Spilling all the secrets just so we forget the pain. It's a famous kind of love because it's us and the fame. Floating away like I'm high in the days. Drunk from a love, watching time float away. Spilling all the secrets just so we forget the pain. It's a famous kind of love because it's us and the fame. Alright, voila! We got this here. We got this part for the uh, the middle piece. It looks like they go together um, very well. Probably be more something like this. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Sweet. So, I uh, got the uh, spray painted record. Did not turn out as good as I had hoped it would. Um, kind of heartbreaking in that sense. I was really hoping it would turn out a lot better than it did. Um, spray paint, I'm just not very familiar with it. So if you're not experienced in spray painting, I would definitely recommend trying to do a couple of practice runs before doing it on your finished product. Um, I wasn't going to use any of my $40 vinyls. So uh, this was kind of the, a, a one and done deal. Um, but just be very careful when the paint uh, drips, it'll create little blotches like this. Don't try to blow them or uh, figure it out because it'll turn out like that on the back. So um just make sure you got some good practice in before you go ahead and get going on this, but sweet. Next, we are going to glue this little uh, circle piece right here in the middle of the record. That way it looks like it has a little bit of character. It looks like it was a part of the record uh, when they made it, so on and so forth. 
gonna, we're gonna set it up in a way that sort of hides some of my blunders on here. Um, but about right there. Uh, again, now we'll go ahead and take our uh, glue stick again. And to go ahead and grab a piece of scrap paper, uh, grab your middle uh, decoration thing. We'll go ahead, just glue this up real good. Nice and gluey, nice and sticky. Yeah, I wanna make that mop stick. Sick. Next, grab said record. Have it positioned how you want it. Make sure you want it like this. Boom. Gonna throw something over the top of it a little bit heavier to help make sure it all sticks down. Um, this glue isn't very strong, even though it's the extra strength craft bond, not very good. Um, I would recommend maybe doing a, uh, maybe a super glue of some sort or just not an Elmer's brand glue stick uh, when trying to do this. Um, yeah. Boom, so now that we got <clears throat> The centerpiece somewhat glued on. I'm just hoping that the frame will kind of um, help keep it uh, attached. Um, from there, uh, we are going to get, I think I'm gonna attach the uh, plaque or attach the record before I put the placard on it. Um, I don't wanna be flipping it all around with this, with a piece of paper and um, risk one of the edges uh, getting caught. So, so when I was doing my research, I know there were a couple of people that had a little bit more depth to it. There were some people that had it right onto uh, the poster board itself. Uh, but really, this is your project, so you can do whatever you want to do with it. There is no right or wrong way to go about this next step. However, I did like the idea of a little bit more depth. Um, but I didn't want my, my record to be so far from the, the art and the poster in the back that you could tell when you were looking at it from the side. Um, so I figured that I could kind of get the best of both worlds if I took these little sticky dealios, stuck them all around the edge of the record, and um, stuck it onto the artwork itself. It'll give it a little bit of depth. It'll keep it secured. You won't have to worry about using this crappy glue. Um, it's kind of a win-win in that situation. So here we go. Keep in mind, this next step, you get one shot at it. There is no uh, going back and doing it over. You get one shot. So make sure you have it, an idea of where you sort of want this um, record to be placed at. nothing we're gonna give it our best shot here um, remember there are no mistakes there is no accidents um, you're making something from your heart a, a creative idea that you hope um, the other person will receive well and I guarantee you that if it comes out less perfect but shows you spent time and you put your effort into it it's gonna mean a lot more than if you just bought one of these right off the internet um, you go the extra mile for people and uh, they tend to appreciate that. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're doing something that you really enjoy doing, a craft, and it's going to make, make someone else's day, um, whether it be a birthday, an anniversary, um, it just be a just because kind of thing, a going away party present, graduation present, whatever the heck you want it to be. Even if you're just making one for yourself, if you make dope music, and feel like you don't get the recognition you deserve, make yourself one of these platinum plaques. Everybody deserves to have platinum plaques hanging up on their wall. So, as we approach this last, last deal, make sure, awesome. Okay, guys, remember, you get one shot at this. Be very careful, precise.
Boom, 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 boom. Happy with that placement. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Whew. It's coming along great. Super excited with how this is uh, turning out. Um, might even be able to add this Circles Mac Miller over here somewhere. That'd be kind of cool. Um, sweet. So next, I'm trying to decide if I want to glue this or uh, stick this on. It's called the Gray Bridge. <laughs> sorry. Baby, yeah, you know this what I'm trying to say. Is that I'm sorry what I did, but that was yesterday. Ain't no change in what I said, but what I'm trying to say is that I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is that I'm sorry what I did, but that was yesterday. Ain't no change in what I said, but what I'm trying to say is that I'm sorry. Sorry. Boom. Got to admit, these ones are a little bit harder to take off. Uh, so make sure you're being very careful not to uh, bend and mess up the placard too much. <laughs> Here I go again, trying to explain myself in another bottle. And bada bing, bada boom. There you go. You got the back for the um, plaque. Now all you need to do is just add the finishing touches. Throw the, uh, just throw the top of the frame over it and you will now have your own custom platinum plaque. Awesome. So now that we have our back done, we got our frame here. Um, keep in mind the shadow box is one that comes with a few of these inserts so you can add a little bit of depth. I didn't really need to add that much depth because I thought that the this would be pretty good enough, close enough on it. So I feel like I'm good on that with just one. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide the one in here. Awesome. Cool, cool. So uh, this next part is a little tricky, trying to get the plaque into the, the frame. You wanna make sure that nothing gets, uh, nothing gets scratched, damaged when you put it in. Uh, we might have some issues because one side I did have to cut a little bit bigger than the other, but we shall do our best to make it work oh 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 the moment of truth please god please oh that looks sick what hey yo yo hey yo I'm like, wait, I kind of want one of these now. What the hell? <laughs> that is awesome. Hell yeah. Sweet. So next we just got to figure out how to keep it in um, place. Don't know why. Oh, maybe I got an idea. I got an idea. Hold a minute. We're just going to... We're just gonna try it out for the time being. I'm not going to worry about the packaging stuff still on it. I just wanna see. Oh, gang, gang. So those leftover uh, spacers that you get, make sure you hang on to those because you can throw them on the back as such. And this will give you the, come on. Ugh the security for the album cover when it starts hanging up uh, on the wall. It'll, it'll stay nice and secure with these. Awesome. It doesn't really fucking matter right now. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Boom, we'll get a closer look at it. Uh, Mac Miller, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Happy birthday, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Damn. 
boom. So again, not perfect. You can tell some of the edges um, did come a little, <laughs> were a little wonky. Um, doesn't help that Wal Walgreens kind of screwed me over on the painting or on the, the poster. But from afar, you get it set up. Oh yeah, buddy. Thank you guys so much for checking out my how-to video on making a platinum plaque. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more how-to videos, for more DIY videos, and for some dope mixing videos as well. And then if you guys have any questions on how I got my designs for this platinum plaque, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below or shoot me a message. I will be more than happy to walk you through the steps of getting from point A to point B with the exact size dimensions as well. Thank you guys again so much for stopping by. And until the next time, peace.